Hey everybody, Nullface here in Eternal Evolution, and I wanted to talk a little bit about passive resources. Uh, it's something that I've been trying to, I won't say optimize, but at least improve uh, on my account a little bit recently. Uh, I pushed ahead in story, uh, I've been getting through a little bit more elite campaign, uh, just trying to maximize what I get done over time. So, of course, we all know story mode determines your your passive resources just gained as you wait right at the end of the day it's an idle game so why not get as much out of it as you can so i pushed up to 54 16 uh, and these are what i'm getting right now you know at, in terms of rates now we also get bonuses of course from uh, military rank as well as having cleared campaign so we're getting kind of multiplicative bonus i should say i don't know if they're multiplicative or additive i haven't done the math and i don't feel like doing it <laughs> but uh uh, you know, we're getting additional bonuses to what we're just accumulating regularly over time, uh, and it helps a lot. Resources are scarce. I don't know about you all, but I'm, for some reason, always running short on gold, so I'm happy to get all that. Uh, it, it always helps for some reason. I, I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Maybe I'm enhancing all my gear or something. I don't know. Um, so that's that's one good source of it, right, when we're talking about the, the story levels. Uh, and pushing ahead in campaign. It's not the most fun thing to do, but it does benefit a lot over time. Your account will be better if you can just buckle down and push through some more uh, story stages. Another place that recently received a buff uh, is Elite Campaign. So I I've been working on this a little bit more recently as well. Uh, it It's a great place to spend some diamonds each day. Go ahead and get all the tickets. Uh, this is actually very worthwhile now. Not only in terms of the uh, uh, the the XP gained, but yeah, it's a good source of rubellite too. So I always come in here and get all my tickets, and, and for some reason my brain said I need all the stars, and I have been too focused on the stars. But the stars don't really matter that much anymore. Uh, they're not as uh, not as worthwhile as just the passive passive gain. So. It's not about shards anymore. Uh, maybe early on it was, and I, I think I was still in the Elite Campaign is for farming hero shards mode rather than anything else. So a couple changes have come in over the last few patches. I think it may have been two or three patches ago. And essentially what it did, it made it so that regardless of which hero and which level you collect, uh, you're getting the same amount of resources for it. So doesn't doesn't matter which one you pick anymore. Like I don't have Xander, so we'll just go Xander. Uh, I can now sweep uh, six nine here, and look at that. That's 180 k exp and 2,000 rubellite for what three tickets? And I just purchased those for I just purchased six for 600. Like that, that's incredible value uh, to be able to get out of that. There are two things the rewards are dependent on. You have your server bonuses. For which the highest levels are cleared right now uh, we're on 23 well 23 6 here thanks to scubert and also your personal highest level so as i push through more levels of this my rewards will go up regardless uh, and, and it's pretty substantial now if you max out the tickets each day uh, make sure that you use all of those then you'll get a significant amount of exp and rubellite just from collecting hero shards for whoever you want from elite campaign uh, I was trying Randall on a couple of teams, so I, I have some FM starred uh, working on my assassins because he's not a mortal five yet. You can still, you know, may as well pick up hero shards for ones that you don't have. But at the same time, that's that's really not the focus. It it's more about how how far can you push through it and how much um, EXP and rubellite can you get because those are are still the main bottlenecks. Uh, I'll run out of gold from time to time. I think that, like I said, that's more of a personal problem. But once you get into the hyper evolution levels, uh, the the rubellite costs go just through the roof. Uh, as do the hero exp. So I'm always short on one or the other. It just kind of flip flops back and forth. So uh, I've found that you know spending a little time to get those levels up so that I can increase that it it just helps uh, helps my overall account progression and also fast patrol right. Uh, as you push further in story, you get more value out of your fast patrols. It's an additional 14 hours of resources each day. So the, the higher you can go, the better. And it, it does give bonuses to everybody else on your server. So 
you know, whether you feel they deserve those bonuses that you give them or not, that's another conversation entirely, but it's there uh, and it does benefit everyone. So we have a nice little collective effort to, to push ahead and uh, like I said, just try to maximize that passive resource gain. Because at the end of the day, uh, unless you're a very high spender, that's where a lot of your resources are going to come from. You know, you'll get a good amount from the events, uh, but just the passive flow over time is pretty huge too. So definitely something you can do, little things here and there to just kind of help improve the efficiency and make sure you're maximizing, you know, what, what you're what you're doing each day and get the most out of it. Uh, I guess I know there's a new hero out. I'm not going to cover it right now. Um, going to look more into his kit uh, once I, I see some more info about him. And of course, I'll pull for him once the recruitment event opens up again. We'll see what copies we can get, how we can build them, and, and where he'll be useful. So uh, until then, hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching, and take care.